Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. If you're a basketball fan, it's time for some live action. And today I'm partnered up with DraftKings and they have a special offer for you guys. All new customers who bet $5 get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings app, sign up using my promo code Cletus. And since you're a new customer, just bet five bucks on any basketball game and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in the action and use that $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays and get a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same game, including player points, assists, rebounds, and more. So like I said, guys, download DraftKings right now. Link in the description below. Use code Cletus at sign up. And when you bet five bucks on any basketball game, you'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Big thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Let's get Get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. All right, guys. Down here in the middle of Freedom Factory, crack of dawn. Because we have a cars and coffee this morning, and we have helicopters flying in for it. And I've got to go get the cub and land it over here. Once we get a little bit more light, we're going to have a little party this morning. But we've got the turbo out here hiding. <laughs> guys we're all set up nice little lineup we got going all right guys it's cars copters and coffee this counts as a helicopter you can park over here <laughs> oh no way paul sorry your neighbor's one up and you over there i mean he's got a freaking delorean with dry ice shoot now in the back one up this that, uh, it's close it's close to be honest <laughs> guys this last cars and coffee was so awesome we had over 200 cars so we're gonna start doing them every third saturday of the month from 8 to 10 a.m so the next one will be december 16th What you got going in here, Zach? We're not modding this thing, are we? I'm trying to bleed out the uh, fuel system, and I'm not a diesel tech. So oh. We're, we're learning. Just put some fuel filters on it? <laughs> fuel filters, uh, air filters to come. Wow. Uh, oil? Dude, 12 gallons of oil. 12 gallons is a lot. Hit the key. <laughs> Let's hear. Gosh, that is a big engine. Oh yeah, she's trying. <laughs> Good luck with that, bud. Good luck. Dude, what's going on over here? Oh, you know, just stuff and things. Is this a coyote in here? I made an executive decision. Oh yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Well, this isn't our engine, so I guess this must be Sam's coyote that you got yeah. there, Sam? But look what it's in though, so you know you can never tell. Could be mine, could be here. Yeah, I'm not okay. sure. All right, all right. Well, guys, we bought a coyote for McFlurry. The news is out. This doesn't happen to be the one, but Sam just got this in for a project he's working on. So we're using it as a mock-up engine. This probably won't hold, you know, 2,000 horsepower like we're planning on. This is so, a, this is an 800 horsepower yeah. stocky. 800 horsepower stocky. <laughs> Ty, how pumped are you to be doing a coyote swap I'm on so McFlurry? Excited. I'm this, so excited. This thing's going to be so freaking fast, man. The Godzilla is cool, but yeah. this is like proven easy power. Yeah, I'm yeah. Big coyote guy. I mean, we so got beat by a coyote at FL2K. So. Can't beat him, join him. Yeah, man. there you go. <laughs> this thing's going to be a little peppier for you, bud. Yeah, about time, jeez. About time. <laughs> I keep some head gaskets and something, yeah. baby. Is this thing bolted in right now? It's bolted to the bell housing, yeah. Okay, so it's bolted to the Lanco, building some motor mounts for it. Got some motor mounts to build. Some headers to test fit. Yeah. Some goodies to start slapping on and see where we're at. Yeah, we're I can close. already see that those headers are going to have a tight fit. Yes, sir. So, guys, we are uh, officially coyote swapped. Does that count as official once it's in like that? Uh, it's three quarters there. Yeah. I mean, that's as close as it gets. Another thing, Ty, I wanted to mention. I know that I always make you put the turbos way up and out i'm gonna give you the artist creative freedom that you need brother <laughs> you you put them where you want all right i think the motor's so big they might have to go where they used to be <laughs> no no that's great that's great but i'll let you put them wherever you want okay i know i always tell you i want them super up high and out of the way but yeah 
You put them where you feel is necessary for this project, brother. Actually, we got real really yeah. small turbos now. They are small. Those things are tiny. We can fit them pretty much anywhere. Yeah, so. so wherever you want, brother, put them. So, guys, we'll have our actual race engine in just a couple of days. But for the next few days of time lapsing, you're going to see Ty working on this mock-up Coyote. And hopefully, we'll have a turbo kit and some motor mounts and a whole lot of other stuff. Some goodies. Whipped up in the next few days. Plenty of things for uh, Sam to polish. Yeah. Yes, sir, Sam. Right, let's do it. Turbos are already out on the table. Yeah, bro. What we got here? A little box from Haltech, dude. Dude, get you look excited? At this. They wired some stuff for you. I literally just plug and play this. This is Coyote Swap stuff. Dude, dude. Not only I that, they set you up. Easy. Oh, what do we got over here? Some Metal. turbo headers. Ooh. Flowtech from Holly. Easy Ooh. enough. Then a new torch Kubota. Yes, sir. Dusty Bradford from PTC, PTC. got us a converter for McFlurry. It's gonna work with Blanco and the Coyote. Dang, they sent you a bunch of breakouts, huh? Oh yeah, we got some coils, we got some breakouts. Oh yeah. I think these are- Look at uh, that. Stuff, some injectors. Injectors. Oh, Second set of injectors possibility. I know, I know. <laughs> Fire me up. Some wide bands. All right, so we're working on the Coyote and I have the motor mounts done on each side. So we officially have a Coyote in McFlurry. The next step is I'm gonna slap the headers on we got a set of Flowtech headers. They're really awesome for like budget build stuff where you don't want to go crazy or have to build your own set. They fit a lot of cars. They actually fit this almost perfect. So I'm going to throw those on. Then we're going to figure out where the heck we're putting some turbos. And these right here are the headers we'll be using. I always go ahead and weld my own V-band on. They come with a V-band, but it doesn't have a male and female flange. So there's a little slop where the, the top can kind of move around. So I like to cut that off and weld on a good set. But this is the passenger side. And it goes right up in there, no problem. And uh, then we just have to build the rest. All right, dude, boxes are rolling in for McFlurry version three. Yes, the newest car in the channel is already on V3. You know, we had a Godzilla swap, then we had a built Godzilla, V2. V3's happening. And in this box, we got something pretty freaking sick. It's from over the pond, came Worldwide Express. Holy cow, what's in the box, man? Uh, we're fitting to find out. Oh, man. You guys know what that means. Oh, dude, a whole bunch. That's of a serious goodies. name, dude. That's oh, a serious it. name. Plasma man. Ooh. Oh man. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So thing. here we have a plasma man billet intake manifold for the Coyote and McFlurry. That, that is office. way too nice for McFlurry. I'm just gonna take yeah. that home. Yeah, dude, put it on your Ranger, that, that's that would nowhere look... as nice as McFlurry. <laughs> dude, that thing is looking good. So we got our Motion, 102 millimeter throttle body, Motion bill of butt cheek, new quick seals, and we're getting it all mocked up on here. So you can go ahead and start laying some pipe. I'm gonna put some turbos in this unit. I know I want this turbo below the hood line. We gotta get some aero in this thing. Think I can stick it somewhere in this area roughly.
Let's go, guys. Just got the engine. Woohoo! All right, to the shop. Oh! Engine day. Got the shyster out, dude? Dude, she's here in the nick of time. What we got here? Oh, big box from TKM. Oh, high speed. <laughs> big old box here all right guys feels like just a couple months ago we're standing right here with a box that said the same thing on it that's because we were because we bought a tkm engine for neighbor that coyote that's been ripping when the godzilla injured itself at fl2k we decided we wanted the coyote swap mcflurry and we had about three weeks to make that happen we called around and tkm took on the task of building us a 2,000 horsepower worthy coyote in literally 10 days. They said, brother, let's make some calls. They made some calls. They called me back. They said, we can make it happen. So TKM came in really clutch to make this project happen so that Jack Sands got a little bit more head gasket. We need some more horse horse. <laughs> to hold on to. So <laughs> zipper open, Zach. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Insane that we got this in time. Okay, she's totally wrapped up. But hey, oh, you can see what we're, we're dealing with. Damn, all right. I guess let's try and pull a wall off of this and get her unpackaged. Dude, look at the billet valve cover. I see some shininess Jeez. under there. I see a lot of billet. Dang. Oh, oh boy. Golly. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Those are rowdy. Dude, those things oh, are sweet. Oh, so this is for the water passage. So dry deck. So yeah. To get the water. Oh, we'll throw some photos on here from the build. It's got a dry deck system on it. They added these uh, coolant passages, I suppose. That's what that is. Is that a number three for Dale on the oil cap there, dude? <laughs> Clean. Man. Clean. Dude, already got bungs for the uh, oil drains. Yep, yeah, so right dude, rip. they were like, we're gonna do everything we can to give you guys a step ahead here. So already has a balancer on it. I mean, look at that. Dude, look at this. Yeah. Time Pointer on there. there, classy. So here's what we got. I'm just gonna go off the list. Dart and sleeves. We got custom dry deck, billet main caps, top fuel hoops. So the head gaskets should be legit. Flat out copper gaskets, Wiseco custom pistons, got R and R aluminum rods with liver noise, CNC ported heads. We got pack springs, titanium retainers, billet cam caps, comp cams, RGR timing components, custom valves, ATI balancer, TKM custom billet valve covers, which are these units, ARP head studs, main studs, and cam cap bolts, and cleavite bearings, and total seal piston rings. Pretty soon we'll set that billet intake on this thing, and it's going to be a work of art. Give us a few minutes. We're actually going to shove it in the car, and we already are looking at how tall those valve covers are. We're going to have to make some adjustments to what we just built in the turbo kit, but... <laughs> You know, here we are, guys. We're making it happen for World Cup. This is all last-minute stuff, and that's just how it goes sometimes. That's a pretty spicy intake port there. Wide open. Yeah, <laughs> I think our little turbos are going to struggle to keep up with those intake ports. We need a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> Motion Raceworks parts already attached. Already on there. That's dude. our fuel pump drive right there. Yeah, so we got a bracket that bolts over here. Mm. Pump will hang forward. Clean. All right, it's in. Bolt it in. Also, if you guys have a coyote and you want to run AN lines for your water ports, you can get these handy dandy adapters off of motionraceworks.com. All right, guys, midday check in. We got coils going on, spark plugs in the engine, ties working on this exhaust. Don't forget, we need wideband bumps. Oh, yeah. And then going in. we got injectors over here with jack stand. Show them these custom pieces we had Sam make. So no one made one long enough to plug a, our second yeah, injector Yeah, they're like hole. injector blanks. No one made one long enough for the injectors we run. Yep. So our boy Sam just duplicated Sam them. Sam made those last night, guys. Longer. What a guy. Will them up on the wave. Yep. So we're, we're getting there. We just got some plumbing to do. 
got the water lines on. As you can see, those came out real nice. This stuff's getting there, guys. Just gotta get this intake wrapped up. That's kind of our biggest task. And then some plumbing, and we'll be there. And that bolt that Zach just lost. <laughs> How's the wiring? Too easy, huh? Honestly, it's too easy. They set you up good. Haltech really went out their way and made jumpers for me and made it all plug and play. Too nice. And then we got our Holly coils. And that's just too easy as well. Yep. Dang. Damn, brother, we got that fender exit. Have we ever had a Up upper out. fender exit in this I shop? Don't think so. It's the first upper fender exit this we is got. A little different, you know, something different. Dang, brother. Guys, it's really coming together. Starting to get that feeling I get when it's time to fire up and we're uh we're making our way. You know, it's not we're not there yet, but we're making our way. Alrighty guys, everyone's grinding. How's that exhaust coming, Tosh? You done? We're almost there. I'm on the last weld right, All right now. That's what I like to see. I'm about to finish up this intake. Zach, I hear you have some converter bolts on and yep. now getting you're doing some little, wiring. Uh, getting the odds and ends dialed out. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, a little bit of wiring in the process. <laughs> getting close to firing it up, actually. I think we're not too far. Look, we even have a fuel pump belt on there. Wow. And a fuel tank in the car. So, man, we're, we're getting there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Whoa, Zach. Don't be dropping nothing in there, dude. <laughs> got a strength. I got a straggler there. Guys, we're freaking getting after it right now. It's looking good. We're just waiting on the wiring <laughs> guy. Guys. Hey, I almost got our cranking cam backwards, all right? You know, home and trigger words. You know, they don't call it. Glad you got it right. Just got there, bud. You just want to grab it so by the booty cheek like that, dude? Metal. Someone plug in these injectors. Sounds like a wiring guy, Jeff. That is definitely a wiring guy, Jeff. You might be here a minute. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do we need to put a NPT port in that water? No, I can get a port in there. Okay. I kind of get the 90 out of there. I'll just pinch the wiring in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Oh, lost the no ring. Polar off. You got a nice handle they put back there, dude. That is a very handy handle. Back in. A lot of action, dude. Should I should have just RTV'd them a little bit. A little dab would do you. They look pretty tight in there. All right, can you set it down without moving it this time? Yeah, I'll try. Push it out all the way in, dude. It's You're all the way in. No, it's hanging out, dude. It's because you looked at it. Look at it still hanging it's out. In there, it doesn't man. look. What do you got? Wiring guys, dude. <laughs> We're just out of each other's throats right now, trying to get his car running. You try uh, hitting him with that? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Did you try hitting him with that first? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put this bad boy on there, dude. Don't knock an O-ring out again. Feels much better that time. All right, let me get some bolts. That looks so much better with all that tape on there, dude. Woo! Yeah, we're looking good. It's gotta peel a little bit more tape off. Spray some brake clean in the turbo and we're gonna be running. You guys know the deal. Sun going down, Ty's getting some fuel. We got everything buttoned up as far as we can tell. We don't have breathers on the, the uh, valve covers yet, but we're working on that. We got to hook up one turbo oil drain under the car, which I'm about to do. Sam's wiping it down. We're about to give this thing a hit. We are literally putting fuel in this paparuski. When did we pull the Godzilla out? One week ago? Yeah, like a week or two ago. It was last week, yeah. yeah That's almost, crazy. Almost <laughs> <not very long. laughs> Damn, guys. We went from... Godzilla to a 2,000 horsepower Coyote engine. Now these turbos aren't gonna be able to crank out 2,000 horsepower worth of boost, but mid 1,000s for sure, 1,500 should be capable with these turbos. This car could very well go a six second pass as it sits, but let's fire it up in here. Sam, we got any leaks? No, it's looking good down here, but it's really right. good. You just putting a full five in it? Yeah, holds about three and a three quarter. Man, the fender exit tie looking sick, dude. It's pretty cool, right? Except for when you get out in the trailer and you gotta squeeze by and they're hot. Yeah, yeah, don't do it'll that. It'll be good. But Sam will no longer have an exhaust that sprays on the windshield. So that's <laughs> good for you, buddy. Very good. Very good. Okay, all right. You are we ready? I'm gonna check the leaks. Yeah, try. Go ahead, Ty. We got that <laughs> down under the car. Oh, I hear injectors clicking. All right. Oh, oh! We got fuel leak. Hold on. 
Okay, all right. Oh, it fired. We got a fuel leak, though. Big fuel leak. Right when it got fuel pressure, it started leaking. Okay. Where's uh, it at? It's Bro, definitely here. the pump area. Oh, this is going to sound cool. Oh, we got us a loose line, dude. Go ahead, Ty. We have a ton of fuel. That's a lot of fuel. <laughs> it finally built pressure. Yeah, it might have finally built pressure. Holy crap, it was blowing Dude, fuel. That was like okay. insane. <laughs> that was insane. All right, guys, are we ready? Let's try. Do we got this? Hurry up, Zach. Dude, freaking wire, guys, dude. You know, everything's falling off Zach right now. Every <laughs> single issue, right on Zach's does. shoulders, dude. Yeah, exactly. Come on, is. dude. We're built for this, brother. Zach, I'm old, but I'm going to be All right. All right. All right, get off the floor, dude. Yeah, I got power now. We're good. Here we go, boys. You can climb out, Zach. We don't need you down there. I'm trying to get the He's hole. holding the clamps on now so you don't pull them off again. All right, here we go. Barking, dude. McFlurry is sounding good. Woo. Dude, McFlurry is sounding amazing. Guys, we just coyote swapped McFlurry in a week. Dude. <laughs> yeah, we did that. The wave skates were opening. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's making boost. The wave oh, skates opened every time you revved it. It was getting hot. <laughs> so, little turbos, they <laughs> spool. <laughs> yeah. How's everything down there? Good? I mean, good. We need to take fuel pump off and reseal it. But That's other than that, little leak. Yeah. That's good. Woo. Little problems, dude. Little. Big thanks to Rick at Haltech for helping us get this thing running. And big thanks to TKM for getting this done so fast. And Precision Turbos on the Turbos, Plasma Man on the intake, Holly on the coils, and obviously Haltech, you know, who's helping us out right now. And if I miss anyone, them too. Thank you guys. I'm fired up. We'll be at World Cup with a Coyote McFlurry. All right, guys. Next video you'll see of this is it on the dyno. As you can see, we got some cars put together back over there too. So we got a lot more work to do to get ready for World Cup, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale Wolfric and see you later. Oh, Frank. Brother, what are you doing out here? I'm getting ready for November 17th and 18th. We got monster trucks, jumps, pyrotechnics. I'm just getting ready for it. I didn't know you were doing a stunt at the show. Guess what? <laughs> Might be doing a stunt at the show. All right. I didn't know that, but I'm ready for it. Get those tickets. All right.